Hello, I'm Lynn Wolf, Managing Editor of Rural Lifestyle Dealer Magazine, with my editor's post for September 9th, 2014. Skip the high five. Don't celebrate a sale in front of the customer. I love my role at Rural Lifestyle Dealer and finding ways to help you be more successful. That means whenever I'm making a larger purchase of any item, I scrutinize the process for ideas to share with you. This happened last week when I made a larger household purchase. In this instance, the younger salesperson did a lot of things right and two major things wrong. Let's start with the good. She greeted us at the door with a friendly, what can I help you with approach. We were in the buying mode that day, not just browsing, so she had a head start on the sale. She zeroed in on that and asked a few key questions to introduce her inventory and start narrowing down the selection process. Price was not discussed. I liked that because she didn't assume I, I was a budget shopper and she gave me the impression that she was going to spend time with us looking at all the options. She then led us through the showroom recommending a model that fit our specifications and was mid-priced. She gave us just enough detail about the product and the company without losing our attention. We then looked at two other models comparing specifications and prices. She always talked in terms of bundling a few smaller items in with a larger purchase and explained why. She didn't skimp or overload on the details and gave us a few minutes alone to compare and talk budget. In about 20 minutes, she made a $700 sale. Here's the bad news. She could have sold me more and I left the store with uh, happy with my purchase, but also with a feeling of mistrust. And here's that scenario. We stopped at a related item and asked a few questions. I said that I wasn't ready to buy that day. She missed the opportunity to offer me incentive to convince me that I should turn that interest into a purchase that day. And when we left the store, I saw out of the corner of my eye that she high-fived a coworker. I know that salespeople make, make their money when they make a sale, but it did make me wonder about my decision and question her trustworthiness. Did I pay more than I should have? Did she talk me into something that helped her make her quota, but was maybe not the best choice for me? The real question is, will I buy from her again? I'm not sure. And that's the unfortunate part because repeat sales are the backbone of any business and any good salesperson's paycheck. Thanks for reading.